Jazz Club with Walter Love on BBC Radio Ulster, BBC Radio Foil and BBC Sounds. A very good evening to you. This week, a singer who finds inspiration in singers and songs and is herself an inspiration, Katrina Taylor. Sunny days and moonlit nights Promise of love and paradise You with your kiss and me with my smile Stay here and drift along with the waves for a while That was Sunny Days from Katrina Taylor's latest album, Blind Passion. Katrina, the album is an extremely important personal statement or series of statements. Tell me why. Hi, Walter. Blind Passion is really close to my heart because I decided that I would create an album of tracks celebrating blind musicians. I myself am visually impaired, have a rare condition called Stargardt's disease, and I felt it was time to kind of celebrate that and the great company that I've been keeping in jazz circles. Music must be of greater importance to people with blindness or, or any form of visual impairment. Music is just a wonderful thing. It's such a good way to escape and, yeah, experience emotions, have, let it take you to places 
but um, sometimes life is too busy and too stressful for us to go to. Being positive is a keynote for you, isn't it? I yeah, I'm I'm quite a positive person. Um, and I've had my uh, challenges in life, but I tend to just kind of knuckle down and get on with it. And um, you know, things things tend to be uh, okay if you have the right frame of mind. So your own condition was the starting point for this album and bringing together such a wonderful collection of of music. For you, sight problems began when you were quite young. You were seven years old, weren't you? That's right, yes. I was seven years old and my family were very serious tennis players. So we were on a tennis court from an early age and, uh, yeah, my back swing was always very late (laughs) because I didn't see the ball coming. But, uh, yeah, we found out uh, in the early days of school that my sight was starting to fail and I was diagnosed with the condition of Stargardt's disease, which is progressive. And um, as you obviously go through life, it, it gets worse slowly. Do you think it's not terribly well known, that condition, is it? No, it's not. There are several uh, diseases and conditions that you can have, really more than we know, you know, most people know about. Stargardt's affects one in 8,000 people in the population. And actually, one in 20 people carry the gene. So it's, it's a lot closer to home than you might think, but it only affects uh, people rarely. Genetically, um, obviously, two people would have to come together with the gene in order to pass it on. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a condition that not a lot of people are familiar with. But it didn't hold you back in your studies, which took you towards a career in law. Yes, I, um, my first career was as a lawyer. I worked really hard to get my uh, degree and then my law, di- law distinction and uh, worked in the city in London. And I enjoyed that very much, uh, but I felt that there was really something missing for me. And that was my desire to songwrite and to perform. And uh, I've been working hard since uh, to become a professional as a singer and uh, and do what I do. So you you uh, went for and gained a master's in acting and singing, didn't you? Yes, I went to the Royal School of Central Speech and Drama, which is a bit of a mouthful, <laughs> um, to Central School in London, and um, I had some really fantastic training there. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time there. We've been listening, Katrina, to Sunny Days, and uh, I love the, the the phrase "happy dreams." and carefree hopes. That's your philosophy, isn't it? I was so lucky when I was younger. We lived abroad in Portugal and we spent a lot of time in really a very idyllic place. And I have such happy memories of those years. And a lot of my inspiration comes from really that that lifestyle of being by the beach in those sunny days. And yes, they they were definitely um, very, very carefree days. Can we talk for a moment about your band? And in fact, I would make the point that the quality of your voice is matched very much by the quality of the musicians in your band. Absolutely. Uh, The guys that I've been working with for some time, they're all um, consummate professionals. And um, uh, I mean, I should talk through them. I have uh, Dave Jones on the electric bass. I have Peter Hammond and uh, John Crawford on the piano. Uh, both superb pianists, and I have uh, Chris Nichols on the drums, and I have two guitarists on the album, Robin Banerjee, who's made a career, really, of being uh, Amy Winehouse's um, former guitarist, and um, also uh, Dominic Ashworth, who is uh, playing Spanish guitar on that track, Sunny Days. And, of course, Last but certainly not least, I have the wonderful Vasilis Xenopoulos on um, saxophone and flute. Now, Blind Passion is a tribute, through your own interpretations, to the artists who've achieved much despite blindness or visual impairment, really inspiring artists. Yes, I don't know many people who aren't inspired by, um, I mean, Stevie Wonder's just um, an absolute uh, legend in his in his genres of pop and jazz, um, likewise Ray Charles. And I also um, honoured Diane Shaw, the American jazz pianist and singer, 
and Jose Feliciano, who's a Puerto Rican guitarist and singer. I think we should listen to to one of these uh, marvellous tributes of yours and your interpretation. Let's listen to my Sherry Amour.
Katrina Taylor and my Sherry Amour. Tell me about that particular song. I've always loved the song. I've always been inspired by that style of music. Very much Latin music is, I think, in my in my soul, in my blood. I don't know why. My mother used to listen when we were living in Portugal to Portuguese artists, Brazilian artists, and Stan Getz. Joao Gilberto, I, I really grew up listening to that type of stuff. So I wanted to try and give a little bit of that feel to that song. And uh, really, I was thinking of my beautiful daughter when I chose that song, because she is just an absolute little cutie. In fact, actually, you're probably um, anticipating my next question, because this is your fifth album, but there has been that gap since your fourth, and that was 12 years ago. Yes, that's right. I've had an interesting journey in the last uh, 10 years or so. I've had two beautiful children, but with those children, I also had uh, breast cancer twice. So that was very challenging, very difficult time, but I'd like to think it's behind me now. And that again shows and underlines the positivity in, in your life. Now, this album was recorded during the lockdown, which must have added a few problems for you. Lockdown was very difficult in some regards because I had my son to homeschool and that wasn't very easy. We were all, uh, you know, in our houses like everybody uh, with two children kind of climbing the walls. But at the same time, I was very busy, really, uh, doing performance and songwriting. So lockdown allowed me a little bit of time to breathe and take stock. I had my album scheduled for recording in lockdown before we knew anything about the dreaded COVID. But it gave me a little bit of time to kind of put more of my self into the album. And I really, I'm really grateful for that time, actually. Uh, we finally recorded the album just as we were coming out of the first lockdown, so in uh, August 2020. Do you enjoy composing your own material? I absolutely love songwriting. I think it's one of my most precious things. Having been a lawyer, I found it quite hard to believe that I would be a songwriter one day. And I'm happy to say I've written, you know, well over 50 songs and recorded many of them. And uh, each one, yes, is a little part of myself. So I very much enjoy that side of things. Do you think of music as a messenger? I do believe that uh, we communicate very much through music and especially the voice. It's all about emotion and a story. And I think that's what a singer should be bringing to it, as well as obviously the, the skill uh, involved in, in singing jazz in particular. What are your future plans now that you have this album out? I have 10 tracks that I recorded uh, at the same time as this album, actually, which I am working on and I'm in post-production with those at the moment. I'm just adding the backing vocals and maybe I'm going to put in a few more instrumentations. I'm not sure. Um, so I'm really enjoying doing that. And at the moment, we have a tour schedule where we've been launching the album. We've been doing a few dates around. So that's keeping me very busy as well. It's been a pleasure talking to you, Katrina Taylor, about your album, Blind Passion. And my final choice is a familiar Ellington standard, but given your own personal stamp, it don't mean a thing. And that means a lot to you too, doesn't it? I really love this song, yeah. I mean, Duke Ellington, great composer. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it was a real pleasure to sing it. Do I do I do I do I do I do I Makes no difference if it's 
Katrina Taylor's album Blind Passion has just been released through Diva Dolls Records with the number KT005CD.